hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We will call it as main animation. Width is 1080, frame rate is 30, height is also 1080, and duration is 10 seconds long. And background color is white color and simply hit OK. Then I'll press Ctrl N again to create a new comp. I'll call it as cube and hit OK then i'll select my rectangle tool and in fill i'm going to choose let's say white color or let's say blue color for now somewhere around like this and simply double click to create this uh, shape appropriate size according to our composition now press s for scaling option and let's make it zero initially create one keyframe and go to around two seconds and let's make it 100 select uh, both the keyframes and hit f9 and if you see we will get this kind of scaling animation now after that we will go to the shapes and we will choose the star and we will again double click to create the star and for this time i am going to choose pinkish or let's say purple color or let's say white color for now and hit ok and go to the polystar one polystar path one and in points i am going to decrease it up to three select this polystar polystar place ctrl alt hope like that let's disclose this and press v for selection tool and by holding y uh, y is a shortcut key for pen behind tool and by holding ctrl i'll snap this anchor point at top of it like that then choose grid and guide option and hit title safe action press s for scaling option and scale it a little bit and we will move it over here let's zoom let's stick over here like that unlink this scale and let's scale it like that and let's scale it somewhere around like this now select this hit ctrl d to duplicate press r and let's rotate it on 180 degree like this select both of them press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as white portion and hit ok select the shape layer hit ctrl d bring this at the top select this white portion and in track mat i'll choose alpha mat so if you see we will get something like this now we will go to the main animation we will bring our cube over here like that press r for rotation i'll create one keyframe over here and go to around let's say 40 seconds and let's make it 180 so now if i see this i'll get something like this now i'll go to around one second i'll select this cube hit ctrl d and let move this over here with the help of open bracket go to around two seconds hit ctrl d move this over here go to around three seconds hit ctrl d let's move this over here go to around four hit ctrl d move this over here go to around five hit ctrl d and let's move this over here now i'll go to two seconds i'll hit b and go to around four seconds and i'll hit n and now between four to uh, between two to four we will get this looping stuff over here so as you can see our almost animation is done now what we will do we will press ctrl y on our keyboard to create a background layer and i'll hit ok and i'll move this over here and i'll lock this so i'll select all this cube i'll press but before that let's select any cube like this cube i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'll search for drop shadow effect on it and let's increase the softness to 200 and size 10 and opacity 20 or let's say 30 yeah now i'll select this drop shadow i'll hit ctrl c i'll select remaining cubes and i'll hit ctrl v to paste it so we will get this drop shadow effect also now uh, i'll select all of them and i'll press ctrl shift c to pre comp it as i'll call it as cube animation and hit ok like this so if you see we will get this kind of looping animation 
now i'll what i'll do i'll create one rectangle and by holding shift i'll create one rectangle like that then press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center then go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press r for rotation and i'll rotate it on 45 degree like that select this cube animation and i'll choose alpha inverted mat now go inside this cube select any cube and i'll copy this drop shadow effect hit ctrl c go to main animation now i'll select both the layers and i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as final cube and hit ok and hit ctrl v so it will apply this drop shadow effect over here also now double click on this cube go to two second i'll select this rectangle uh, which is our shape layer press r for rotation i'll create one keyframe over here and i'll go to around 40 seconds i mean four seconds and let's rotate it to somewhere around like that i think 135 so now if i hit play i'll get something like this and if i go to my main animation i'll get this kind of animation now this is just a while our cubicle portion now we have to add some another uh, shape like ellipse so i'll choose white color for that so i'll create one ellipse over here press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and bring this shape or uh, be behind this final cube select this and let's move this over here press p for position and let's bring this downwards now create one keyframe over here and go to three seconds and i'll move this over here at the center and now fill color i'm going to choose this blue color only so if you see we will get this kind of animation now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'll move this handle over here like that now select this shape layer hit ctrl d and let's move this over here and hit u and now at this point i'll initially move this upwards let's hide this for now and now if i see we will get something like this and for this one i'm going to choose white color and now if i enable my both the layers and if i see this animation for two to four seconds i'll get this continuous looping animations so this is how you, with the help of simple shape layers and tips you can create looping animation in after effects and you can choose it whenever you want to like in motion graphic videos like in social media posts etc etc so yep that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next lecture so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates until then stay tuned